As you create an Illustrator, you'll most likely need to align content in your design, whether for a website, poster, or other. In this video, you'll learn about the different ways to align content. To follow along, you can open this file from the practice files for this tutorial. Now to make sure that you see all of the design content out in this file, choose View, Fit All in Window. To start with, you'll learn how to align objects to each other with Smart Guides. In this case, aligning this O shape with the other letter shapes. First, you need to make sure that the Smart Guides are turned on over in the Properties panel here. Smart Guides are temporary guides that are helpful when you move and align content. With the Selection tool selected, in the poster on the left, drag this O shape to the right. As you drag, you'll see magenta lines appear. The line you see in the middle of the shape means it's staying aligned with its original position. Now, if you drag far enough to the right, you'll see a vertical alignment guide on the right edge when it's aligned with the other letters. When you see this, release the mouse button. To keep all of the fox letter shapes together, you'll group them. To zoom out a little, click in a blank area to deselect. Then choose View, Zoom Out. Press and drag across the fox letters to select them, and click the Group button at the bottom of the Properties panel. Smart Guides can be an easy way to align content, but you can also use the Align options. Next, you'll align all of these text objects to each other. So click to select the text in the center here. Then press the Shift key and click the text to the right and the Fox text to the left to add them to the current selection. Shift clicking is a precise way to select multiple objects and can be useful when there are several objects near the artwork you want to select. Now look in the Properties panel to the right of the document. You'll see the Align options. Before you select one of these options, you want to choose what you want to align to. Are you aligning objects to each other, to the artboard, or something else? Click the Align To button and make sure Align To Selection is chosen. This means that selected objects will align to each other. Click the Vertical Align Top option to align the objects to the top edge of the uppermost object, which is the text in the center here. The objects will align to each other. Now this headline text needs to be centered horizontally on the poster. To do that, you can align it to the artboard rather than to the other content. Now remember, artboards in Illustrator are similar to pages in Microsoft Word or Adobe InDesign. So click the headline text at the top here. Notice that the Align options aren't showing in the Properties panel. That's because there's only one object selected. To align a single object to the artboard, you'll open the Align panel. So choose Window, Align, to open the Align panel. You can drag the Align panel group by the title bar at the top if you need to move it. Click the Panel menu and choose Show Options to see more if you need to. Then click the Align to Selection button at the bottom of the panel and choose Align to Artboard. Now any content you align will be aligned relative to the artboard. Click the Horizontal Align Center button to align the text to the horizontal center of the artboard. To close the panel, click the X at the top of the panel group. Now looking at the design on the right, the text that starts with Fun Fact needs to be aligned with the text down here. Unfortunately, if you try to align these two objects to each other, the lower text object will move up to align to the uppermost text object, this one. Since the text down here is already where it needs to be, the Fun Fact text needs to be aligned to that text. To do that, you can align to a key object, it's called. Click the Fun Fact text, then press the Shift key and click the text here to select it as well. Release the Shift key. Click this text again and you'll see it has a blue highlight around it. That means it's the key object or the object that every other selected object will align to. In the Properties panel on the right, click the Vertical Align Top button to align the text. The key object doesn't move as you saw in this case. To see the final poster designs with nothing selected, click in a blank area away from the artwork. Using the different alignment methods in Illustrator, makes it easier to create cohesive, user-friendly designs for all kinds of projects. They're a great way to save time and maximize the impact of your artwork.